Well, hello, everybody. <clears throat> it's the B2. We're going to be taking a look at the Sky Factory 2 build on the Tech PK servers. That's right. We haven't done an update here for a while. We haven't played in a while, but we got back into streaming it um, a couple days back and doing some upgrades. And I figured that I should um, go ahead and update the YouTube on it as well. So here we go. Um, we've been working in the auto creation of the ME system. Uh, which is through this pattern terminal here, and we've created a bunch of terminals. So we've been exploring Solar Flux, and the current project, excuse me, the current project is um, to take these Tier 3 panels and upgrade all these to Tier 4 over here. And we're kind of building this octagonal shape here, and uh, we've got a little bit more to build here as well. Uh, we're going to build some of the walls out and make create some more rooms. Uh, we're looking to uh, to expand some of our automation. Um, and then we're going to do Tier 5 here in this area, and then Tier 6 will cover this area. And then eventually we'll put a top on here. I don't want to put a top on the building yet or extend the building out yet because I don't want to... Um, um, I, I need to get in and out of the buildings quick without having to run. I, I want to fly so I can fly over the walls. So that's why there's no, uh, no caps or no tops or anything fancy like that yet. Um, and we're going to continue the floor pattern and all the stuff out um, to the side here and create a room there and then finish off the room over there and over there, etc. So uh, as we need more areas to build more stuff, we're going to do that. You'll also notice that the ME system is pretty daggone full right now. Uh, yesterday when I logged in, it was uh, solid red. And so we've been trying to convert stuff. So what I did was uh, I'm going to try and convert some of these, um, the Akio Essence from the Manikio. I had like 500,000 of it. So if you come in here... Um, and you watch like you can see that it's crafting and uh, what we've done is speed this up a little bit in the molecular assembler by adding the acceleration cards so you can see that number is just flipping like right there it's, uh, 3275 3260 3250 so it's clipping right along um, we'll let that continue to auto craft and then I'll show you some of the new things that we built uh, on yesterday's stream so down here we needed to upgrade to the next part of um, uh, solar flux and so here's what the upgrade was going to the tier 4 here of the solar panel was we needed to create hardened energy energy cells and machine frames so we needed electrum and we needed um, invar to upgrade the lead cell to a hardened energy cell so uh, in order to do that you gotta um, sag mill some stuff out or pulverize uh, iron and you had to pulverize uh, ferrous to make the uh, electrum and if you come over here, we had to pulverize gold and silver. Um, no, no. Iron was the invar and gold and silver was the electrum. That's right. So these pulverize in here. And so what we've done is create a level emitter here. And when we get to 1,000 pulverized silver, this cuts off the level emitter or the redstone signal. And it signals to this guy to halt production because it's waiting for a, a signal to activate. So really cool stuff. So if I go back over here and jump down into the uh, the terminal when I look up pulverized you'll see that I'm sitting on a thousand of each of these so if I was to come over here to the terminal and let's say click on this and let's say I want to make 200 and let's see is there enough there is and we're gonna start so what will happen is you should be able to come back here as it's creating it you are gonna see these guys fire up now see they're fired up because it's less than a thousand of that electrum right so these guys fire up same thing over here if I was to take and make 250 invar and I, let me see if I have the computing space I can only run two jobs at once okay so we can run the other one now if I pop into here and hit invar and tell that to make 250 um, and then start we could go back over to these machines and look these are fired up and also these are fired up because I've told these to cook basically when it gets to um, a certain amount and if you look inside of here when we get to um, these electrum ingots that will shut off once it hits a thousand so if you come back over here because I want to just have a thousand on hand and I want the machines to kick on and off like as as I need them I don't want to keep it going on there so if I look at electrum we've only got 665 and if I look at Invar, we've only got 385. So it's going to start taking this Invar blend and cooking it down at the same time as we're making more Invar blend. So pretty cool. So now if I wanted to come into here and say, well, let's just say I wanted to make a, uh, let's say I wanted to make these Tier 4 solar panels and I wanted to make 10. 
the system would calculate and say you have all the pieces necessary so we're going to start and make 10 of these we're going to start combining these items and you can see it's already made all but one <laughs> that's how fast we've got the system put up and that's doing the Accio and let's see what's what's the hold up on this one Mm, solar panel three scheduled for okay well we'll just let it keep going uh, it's oh I know what it is is it's it's trying to use this down here to build something that it needs to make the, the tier three so if you go back behind here and look um, it, it's waiting on this to open up because this is where the Osseo is the Accio is made so if you want to make multiple patterns and spread them across the different the different molecular assemblers in the uh, the interface you can do that and it'll make it so we're just gonna wait on that so now if I go into here and I type in solar there's uh, it's waiting on the other capacity uh, the other molecular similar to open up so as soon as it does it'll pull through there so anyway that's the upgrades that we're putting yesterday um, I'm trying to work on a way to make the cyclic assemblers actually create um, the invar blend instead of having to key it off manually I'd like to have these running but I, I showed it um, how to make the electric electron blends but I just can't get them to power correctly um, using these level emitters so I'm gonna have to tool with that a little bit and maybe reposition them on their own um, on their own drop or their own color drop or something uh, I'll figure that out for sure the next project also is going to be to take some of this cabling out and to change these into tesseracts like this is just ridiculous oh, I did the one tesseract already hmm, yay me um, but down here in the tier 4 we're still have a drop line going uh, to the panels and that's just not really all that um, uh, you know at some point it only handles 20k RF and if you're running a lot of machines through there so if you pop a hole in the floor and jump down you'll see that uh, this is for the this is creating triple compressed cobble and the reason that's important is because uh, one of the quests is to uh, create uh, one chunk of triple compressed cobble to go all the way down so anyway I hope that's helped you guys out with the um, um, where is it at? I'm going to show you guys the triple compress. There we go. So uh, I hope you helped. That's helped you out with the level emitters and stuff. You can definitely come to the stream twitch.tv slash the B2, and uh, we're going to keep looking at some of these things. So there we go. That's our that's our block of triple compressed right there that we're going to try to finish off. So if you have any questions, feel free to put them in the comments or visit me on my stream again. That's twitch.tv slash the B2, and I usually stream about three or four times a week. Thanks.